Welcome to Viking of Norway channel, where we're all about setting sail on hilarious and thought-provoking discussions. Join me and my witty crew as we navigate through life's twists and turns, covering everything from philosophy to pop culture. Get ready for a roller coaster of laughs and insights that'll keep you hooked from start to finish. Come aboard and let's explore the uncharted waters of conversation together. Welcome to Viking of Norway, finally starting up uh, Saturday Night Live again. Hope I can intrigue you and uh, have some guests also that can uh, be fun for you. And uh, let's see if I can uh, make this right, huh? Um, Hello, Tarzan. I can't see who you are on the picture, but hello and welcome. Dennis, hello. Welcome to you too. Monk. Yeah, I'm running late. I was uh, uh, cleaning out my uh, car and uh, come home and watch a little mo movie with my brother and uh, time just flew. Hey, Mike. So let me try to remember how I uh, gave out the link, huh? Invite, there you are. It's been a while since I done this. Copy, okay. So with this, uh, new Saturday Night Live. I hope to, to show you some other sides of me you never seen before. You will hear some facts. I will state some uh, X-rated things that I might not mean, but I like to get people's reaction and views on things in life as I myself think that uh, Uh, the world is uh, going crazy, but I can't go into too hard details because then I will be deleted by YouTube. <laughs> if you wish to come up, please do so. Let's have some fun. I'm hoping uh, uh, Ronald will uh, show up too to be the referee and say, next! <laughs> yeah, um, the world is strange. Just look at my picture. That's my girlfriend. Uh, Girls willingly sell their uh, butt for three ninety nine, but uh, we don't need no man. So who the fuck is giving you the money, the women or the man? Yeah. <laughs> she said, "Oh, <"Okay." laughs> I can't join the panel, but I will be in the chat. What? Are you in bed already? Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe leaving this one and go for this one, but I'm not sure. I love I love the space she has between her eyes, you know, so. <laughs> and the eyebrows. <laughs> Well, I hope some will come up on the panel after a while to make this a little more joyful. I'm a, a better talker on the radio than I am on on, uh, on lives like this. Hey, Kiko. Hello, Christian. <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall, yes, monk. <laughs> I 
Yes, yeah, so it is Saturday Night Live. I hope to have some serious discussions and some not so serious discussions. And of course, I think we are grown up, so we can be friends, even if we have different opinions. I don't know. Dennis is here. It might cause a problem, huh, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> I give Dennis a wrench so he can kick me out first. <laughs> uh oh. Got to put up with his Canadian humor. <laughs> hey, Tarzan. <laughs> Hey, Chris, how are you? And Tarzan is muted. Hey, Rick. <laughs> Rick Astray is one of my friends from the gaming community. Where is Tarzan located? Someplace warm with palm trees. Yeah. <laughs> We're at a strawberry farm picking strawberries. Ah. You're sending some to me, I hope. Is that you, JB? It's uh, John. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that's in California. That green one you shouldn't eat. We're uh, outside of Bakersfield, California. Wow, great farmland. <laughs> ah, okay, let's have some more enjoyable... Uh, Enjoyable uh, pictures, huh? <laughs> okay, Dennis, why don't you show us a picture of the jungle in Alberta? John, you and the family can have all the strawberries. I don't like them. Oh, I can eat strawberries all day long, but we have sweeter uh, strawberries in Norway than uh, many other countries. Yeah, don't eat the green one. He's too young. But when I went uh, strawberry hunting, we didn't uh, drive a bus and stuff. We needed to walk. Right. And we sat on the field and plucked it ourselves. Monkey saying, I was reading recently how rich Norway is in. I was shocked. Yeah, we are rich, but uh, that's because we pay so much taxes. And when Americans uh, cry about uh, uh, $2 a gallon, we're just laughing. Yeah, but you that's, have a, a vast amount of oil under your feet there, right? Yeah, but uh, the government wants to save it uh, to the next uh, thousand years. So we don't get any benefits from it. You work all your life, you work for 40 years to get a pension and you need to pay tax from the pension, which you already paid tax for. Right. Uh, that's, uh, and everyone is so stupid, they just, ah, oh, okay. I don't know how the tax system is in Norway if the, the rich people can find loopholes and get away with that. Uh, yeah, or if you, if, if you can uh, buy some uh, properties, you really don't need to pay. Uh, or if you own a large boat or uh, 
in the United States, we call business write-offs, you know? Yeah, yeah. They could go on a cruise or vacation and take a, a couple co-workers with you, then you can say it's a business trip. Yeah, and if I, if I have a company, I can have a holding company and a normal company. So uh, with my normal company, I make the money and I invest that money or uh, the holding company is investing that money so the holding right. company don't need to pay tax so one once a year i can take out money without paying tax if i just take out money once a year because that's not the income that's just uh, uh what they call that when you're going plus you know um it's, we call it capital gains here. Yeah, yeah, capital gains. Yeah, it's like a profit on an investment, you know, interest okay. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, has anyone heard from Gear lately? How's his health? Haven't heard from him uh, since in a long he, time. I haven't heard from him. Yeah, not since he was in Tony's live stream last time. Hey, Brett. Or, yeah, dividends may, might also be a right, correct right. word, yeah. Yeah, so if if the school system had learned me this when I went to school, I might have uh, been a rich man today, but they don't want to teach you that. Right, they never teach economics. No. Life lifestyle economics. They just they just tell you. Uh, hey John, John, how's how's the water situation in your area? You should have uh, the reservoir should be full with all the rain and snow. Yeah, it, it rained yesterday a lot, but uh, luckily today's no rain. <laughs> There's Bugs Bunny. Wow, he's, Bugs Bunny has grown since I was a child, I think. Yeah. The only naked one is the rabbit. No, he's got a <laughs> vest on, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bugs Bunny, this is a carpet slide. Yeah, Rick, I never found a woman that uh, tricked me to get married. I was never that. Uh, uh, no woman have ever uh, make, made me feel that safe before. But uh, I'm not saying everyone, but many men think that they just take the lady they can get because, yeah, they give, get a little humping and uh, and uh, yeah. I've been out without humping for six years now. I can go six more years, no problem. And the girls nowadays, it's living in such a Delulu land that uh, you need to have a, a contract. When you're married, you need to have a contract with your wife every time you have some bedtime stories. If not, she can go back and say you did something bad. Yeah. No, thank you. Don't need it. And in school, yeah, they they taught me everything I don't need. Uh, plus and minus, okay, that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
but uh, all the other stuff they are learning little english that but uh, they didn't teach you very good uh, not uh, it took me many years to get to where i am now in my english and because i had a bad father and mother uh, in those days, it was nothing called ADHD. It was just a problem child. So you would sit in a classroom alone with one teacher. Uh, like if you are in fourth grade, you will sit and do third grade stuff because they thought you were stupid. They didn't understand that you, you experienced so much fuckery at home and got beaten at home and almost never eat. Then you get to school where where kids are waiting for you to come to school so they can beat you the crap out of you and then when you when you know you need to go two kilometers home again you know that somewhere on that line there is some kids waiting for you to beat you up when you go home too and when you come home uh, you get beating because your father say that uh, even if you don't do anything bad this should teach you to not do anything bad. <laughs> so yeah, out, out of that childhood, I, I didn't become the smartest man in the world. But I have my own brain, I understand uh, more than uh, many other people who uh, think that the government is your best friend. I think it's much better to have wisdom than knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, homeschooling uh, should be in every home. Um, yeah, maybe not in every home. Uh, I don't think my mother and father would teach me much good, but uh, in most homes. Yeah, there's a lot of parents out there that you wouldn't want teaching their kids. Yeah. But in another way, I'm grateful for uh, the upbringing I have because uh, it made me who I am. Uh, right, it made you stronger and wiser. Uh, yeah, and um, also... Um, People that say that men don't cry. That's just the biggest bullshit I know. Yeah, you don't you just you don't need to tell every detail to your girlfriend and you don't need to cry in front of your girlfriend all the time, but uh, you need to cry to, to get the shit out so you can get stronger and uh, find solutions. I, I had that uh, issue with my, my ex wife. She would say, Oh, I, I just want you to tell the truth. So I tell the truth, and then she said, "Well, how can you feel that way?" I said, "You want you want me to tell you my feelings, and then when I do, you criticize yeah. my feelings." The the problem is you you can't you can't tell a wife or a girlfriend uh, hundred percent the truth. You need to uh, brush it a little. They they can't handle and can't understand uh, uh, much of it. So. Uh, yeah, that's right, Tarzan. People only know what they are told to know. And that's where the media comes in and uh, the school system are rigged and trapped. When I go to the teacher and say, tell that someone is beating the shit out of me in school, they just say, eh, don't be a snitch. Yeah, you need to, to stand up for yourself. That was their response, huh? Yeah. And even if they saw that I was beaten, they just turned their back. Because only the strong survive. Yeah. Give me, give me, uh, give me your strongest man, your richest man. Get him to go with me in the forest for two weeks and we see who survived. I can go five days without food, without getting grumpy or anything. That's a normal day for me. Today, kids, if they if they don't have food uh, five to ten times a day, they're just crying. Oh, I'm so hungry. 
right? Schools here now teach children it's okay to pick their gender at a very young age. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't understand where these parents coming from because when I was young, yeah, we did experiment a little and stuff and shit and uh, figure things out. But uh, we didn't get uh, gay or uh, he, she or he, me or hama just because we experimented a little. You know. Now it's normal to be to be uh, dysfunctional. And when when you, you when you allow uh, your kids at school down to first grade, look at trans men in chimpy clothes, uh, dancing erotic dances. Um, how fucked up is the world going to be? Is this the end or uh, is this the, the lowest they get or, or can they go, get lower than this? Uh, the parents that's, uh, the parents who are complaining, yeah, it's two of uh, 200,000 complaining. How can you as a father or mother think it's okay for your child to change gender when you're five years old? It's, uh... Yeah, I played with dolls too with my sister when I was young. I didn't want to chop off my dick uh, and get a pussy because of that. We played with little plastic army men and cowboys yeah. and Indians and and uh, GI Joes they were called, but never played with a Barbie doll. Oh, I played with Barbie dolls with my sister, but not uh, not on a daily basis. Right. But it happened. <laughs> in in uh, StreamYard, I can put myself on timeout. <laughs> delete comment, put the user in timeout, ban user and delete their comments. <laughs> Self-mutilation, huh? <laughs> yes, I call myself toxic masculine because um, I think uh, Gen X is the last generation that uh, has some values. Um, at least for me, I'm old fashioned. Uh, for me, yeah, the man. I, I'm seeing myself as a dinosaur the more days go by. Yeah, I, I'm not into that 50 uh, 50 sharing and, uh, and that crap. Yeah, a woman can help you with money for some time, but uh, she will never be your. Uh, A woman will not do the same as a man uh, if the man is poor. She will not uh, give him money every month for the rest of the life. Yeah, monk and Tarzan. I also played doctor and nurse uh, with the local girls. Even I was the ugliest one in the city I lived in. I buy my son a real hard hat and lunch box so he plays with them. Yeah, that's good. When they asked you if you want to be a doctor, you said only if I'm the gynecologist. <laughs> yeah, I do some ex... Uh, what they call it? Examinations. 
I did, uh, I did with one girl under the stairs of my entrance door. Uh, luckily, no neighbors saw it, but then uh, how, how young was I? Maybe 10. She was nine. Yeah, she was naked and uh, I was looking here and there. I will play it now if any woman are interested. Um, I'm 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 a very picky uh, monk. I was uh, I wasn't this picky when I was younger, but uh, after I turned thirty, I I need to find some connections. Uh, either I must like her face or. Uh, her body to to be able to do something if not my elephant won't rise mike is saying my great grandson age eight went to school dressed in jeans big tutu and purple hair the school was fine with it yeah i i don't, I don't care if a boy want to go to school in purple hair that's not my problem uh the, my problem is uh, that uh the rest of the world is forced to call someone he, she, him, hum, whom, he, hi, he. Uh, and there are new subscriptions uh, and new names every day. Uh, that I, I don't apply to. I don't care if a man have uh, humping with another man. I, I don't care. But... Uh, you don't have to to stand up in my face and and do the kissing you can have a little distance okay no problem i can look another way but forcing me to to like the lgbt plus 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 community and uh, uh fuck up our rainbow uh, because they can't find their own colors nah AJ3 Yeah, non-binary and flutant and yeah So we are uh, we are uh, cheering uh, uh, delusions and and, and uh, illnesses for the lack of American or English words. Well, Dennis in identifies as a motherfucker. <laughs> I woke that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I identify as a toxic masculine. I, Dennis, I thought you wanted ladies that did not have children. You think I get banned for that picture? <laughs> Rick is saying, good point. Forcing you to call them whatever, what they want to be called gets off my tits as well. Yeah. My 30 years old son fly to New York to live with his girlfriend, Filipino nurse. He's an EMT. Yes, monk, you are the, uh, you are the most real monk I know. Yeah, Chris, good luck. I, I think you're going to be going over there to meet someone in due time and wish you well. Just take it slow. Get to know each other. Get to know how things work. Yeah, I just have to say, I, I hope not every Filipina is uh, how I uh, have experienced uh, most of them on the YouTube. 
Well, I, I got very fortunate, Christian. I was back in the day when there was no FaceTime. You didn't see each other unless you sent a picture yeah. or a digi digital picture. It was back in email. In fact, it I think it was <laughs> dial-up email days, you know, and dial-up uh, internet. So uh, I'd send an email and then maybe two days later, I'd get a response if she made it to the internet cafe and if there wasn't a brownout, then I would get a response because we didn't have smartphones then and she didn't have a personal computer. She had to go to internet cafe to communicate. Yeah, but, but those, those days were uh, totally different. Like for me in the eighties, I had no problem uh, hooking girls. Yeah, I'm, but I'm saying I was very fortunate because I, I went there blind, yeah. just thinking, you know, what I got through emails, like some of yeah. the guys we've we've known on live streams, but uh, she ended up being authentic, you know. So. Yeah, but also at that time, you know, you, you didn't have that uh, uh, internet TikTok and OnlyFans and all that shit. Right, right. Uh, so the mentality was different than it is today. I'm sure there could have been scammers, but it wasn't as prevalent back then as, as it is now. Yeah. Uh, J3, if you want, you can type, uh, is it uh, hashtag VON and Nightwood will drop your link. He's saying he's uh, already done two LSS with another coming up out on the eclipse. Uh, is that eclipse? Is that a special date? Yeah, there's a an eclipse coming straight up the U.S. next week. I believe the eighth of April. Okay, that's Monday. It's supposed to come up. <sighs> Kind of diagonally from texas up to the north east corner of the u.s so uh where i live i'll be in about the 90 percent so uh if i think about it if i remember it i might take a look up and it might get a little dark here for a short time but But probably we're going to have clouds, so we might not see it at all. Solar eclipse in the U.S. on Monday. Okay. Yes, April eighth. Yeah. No. So, so I, I know there are some nice girls still, but the. Uh, the amount of nice girls uh, today is so small that uh, I think your chances are better way out in the province, you know, like you uh, said, yeah, where, yeah. where they don't own a smartphone and they don't spend their whole day on taking selfies and, you know, TikTok or whatever. Yeah, and, and hopefully they learn. Uh, um, some manners and uh, how to behave from their parents. And yeah, I, I know I have some strong views and uh, and I'm a very old fashioned when it comes to relationship. Um, but hey, if they if they claim they want tolerance, uh, why aren't they tolerant of your point of view? Yeah, that's right. But uh, mo mostly, many women are only uh, thinking when it benefits them, not the other part around. And I hear uh, girls on YouTube today saying they are uh, 
or what they call it again uh, don't, not depressed but uh, uh, wow I'm bad in English um, the No, uh, it will come to me. Yeah. Anxiety. No, that's not the word I'm talking about. Uh, women, especially in America today, think they are... Uh, Where did you hear that term from? Uh, Is it something you saw on the internet or what? Yeah, I'm watching many YouTube uh, videos about it, so I can't understand why I can't say the word. Uh, if you feel someone is bossing over you and you can't do anything about it, if you're a woman and a man is, is uh, forcing you to do something well they call us men misogynist because because we uh if you believe in a male role and a female role in life or a relationship uh That's, that's kind of a definition of it. I don't know, I'm not a walking thesaurus or dictionary, but. Uh, there's uh, a channel on YouTube called uh, Fresh and Fit, and those girls there, uh, and on uh, whatever is a YouTube channel called, uh, they talk a lot about it. Uh, you can see how delusional many women in America are, not only in America, but also in uh, Russia, in, in uh, Ukraine, in uh, Poland, uh, Brazil. Uh. Wow. I often had that discussion, like again with my ex-wife, who who claimed that you know she's a strong woman and she believed in equality. Yeah. So when there was something heavy to lift, she'd say, "Could you pick this up?" And I was like, "Well, no, we're equal. Yeah. You try it." Oh no. The, the women. Said, well, what do you mean? Uh, the, the women that want equality, let them test out bricklayer work for a couple of months. Yeah. It, it and there are women 16 who, hours a day. There are some women who, who can do the tough work. And physically, in some respects, can be tougher than me. I've seen some very strong women. But that seems to be the exception, not the rule. Yeah, of course. I've seen also so, some la ladies on YouTube that is. It, it, uh, there's, there's. If if it came to running, there are women who could run circles around me. You know, for distance or speed. Yeah. So there's, there's always an exception to the rule. Yeah. But if but if I, we, I, I would have if, this discussion, and she wanted, she said equal. I said okay. Well, then equal. So that means if we go out to dinner then you pay, not just always me pay, right? If you think we're equal, well, then both of us pay for our own, right? <laughs> yeah. No, but I don't want not... equality when that, you know. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, uh, um, I'm, I'm this old fashioned that I think if, if she is your girlfriend, you have a relationship or a married, as a man, I would always pay. Uh, Right, and I always have all my life. I've yeah, never yeah, had yeah. anybody pay. I've never, yeah. since I left but, my parents' home, I never had anyone pay for me. 
for anything. But in today's world, in today's young women, if I should date any of them, who most likely 99% are only after a, a free meal, that would be different. Then I will say, okay, you pay for you and I pay for me. A monk was saying the word might have been anxiety. Is that what you were thinking? Uh, no, no. No. Uh, You're saying that they feel this word, they experience this when they feel mistreated by men? Yeah, if, if they feel that men Dis are discriminated uh, hold, against, are holding them down, they're not getting the opportunity that they think they deserve. Uh, not depressed. Uh, 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 it's demeaning. <laughs> They can okay. say that uh, word. I, I will try to see if I can find it in translate. Demeaning means like it's a lower task than what they feel their worth is. Like if someone told you, you know, if you were the CEO of a company, but you were told to go scrub the toilets in your company toilet, you know, they would say that job is demeaning to you because you're of a high status. Do you understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that word. Uh, okay. They say that for thousands of years, they have been this, and they they only got to vote uh, in the fifties or something because they wasn't allowed to vote. Well, that was called women's suffrage. <clears throat> the fact yeah, that they no. couldn't vote. The, the thing is that uh, uh, most people could not vote. It was just uh, the rich people with, uh, with uh, property in the beginning that could vote because they had influence because they owned so much land. Well, and one famous world leader once said, it's not who votes, it's who counts the votes. So yeah. and, if and you are misled that you think your vote your one person one vote really matters uh they got something else to sell you yeah uh, uh, um what did i try to say again um, yeah and then uh, other men who willingly went to war got to vote because they were dying for the country. And uh, then the woman said that, yeah, but, uh, we didn't get, we, we wasn't allowed to go fight. Yeah, who do you want to go fight? Uh, uh, a woman that to get a, a nail broken and she start crying? Or you want some men who break their arms and just keep on going? You know, it's, it's how small of an IQ can you have? And what is it so important with voting? I voted one time in my life because I really don't want to vote anything because I think the government system we have should be deleted. Because uh, the government is meant to implement us as people and do what's best for us people, for what we people say they need to do for us. Now it's we doing everything for them so they make money, so they can be rich. That was not the plan of, of uh, having a government. And J3, yeah, the woman always want to spend the man, uh, man's money before their own. Yeah. There are some greedy uh, people uh, and uh, manipulating and trying to lie uh, to you and look you straight in the eyes. Uh, John is saying, I wrote my youngest brother's name is in for us US president last election. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, I, I don't think any uh, government in any country is, is uh, good for anyone else but themselves. And the rich are so afraid that a poor fucker than, uh, that, uh, like me should understand what they are up to. Because if everyone stopped looking at the TV for two weeks, maybe they would w wake up, you know. The only reason why the people in power give away free shit is because those people would start, they would revolt if they didn't get their freebies, right? Yeah. They want to keep the peasants calm, right? And, and an another thing, uh, don't misunderstand me. I like many American people, but um, I am I'm, I myself are very happy. I'm not living in America, where there are so much hate and uh, fuck, 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 fuck in every sentence, and uh, so many men I see on YouTube are are I call them bitches. When, when you need to go to another person's channel, talk shit about someone visiting that channel, uh, and uh, have uh, live streams talking shit about named people, how That's bad of... How bad of a life has that person since he must indulge his life in only other people instead of looking at himself? Right. They can only criticize, right? Yeah. They can never compliment. They, they think their, their opinion is more important than someone else's opinion. So they have to go and combat the other opinion, right? Saying it's wrong. Like the per, uh, the person uh, some years ago too, who made that uh, two videos about me telling I was this and that, and I don't I, I don't care if people say I'm this and that. Uh, you you can call me a, a liar, a, a, a drunk, a, a man who goes to bars and pick up ladies you can call me whatever you want I, i'm not getting offended by it because there's nothing a person can say today to me that i have not heard before so why should i care right yeah. but i i, I don't that, that's not that's not going to offend me you could call me whatever you want i don't care yeah you know? but uh, but I, I don't understand why is there so much hate towards other people? Because people are not secure in their own skin. They're, they're so, so unsure about themselves, you know, or they don't yeah, but, have but, any value in themselves that they got to strike out at others. I, I'm I'm insecure about myself many times. I have no education. Uh, I I never had a, a, a long term job before. I have so many. I had many jobs, but not for a long time at the time because of my back problems and so on. Uh, but I, I know who I am. And right. if you, you and you if have, you, yeah. you have you, common sense and you have yeah. wisdom, okay? Yeah. And I'm not it, saying it, no, no, not people that no. have have wonderful jobs and a big house and all, and their lives are totally screwed up, right? So what you have is more valuable than some material things that others, you know, yeah, but have uh, accumulated. Uh, yeah, but I, I also don't let other people step on my toes, right? uh if if people step on my toes i just uh, keep away from them i don't i don't talk shit about them uh i just don't care about them and move on i'm not uh, sitting and talking shit about them because they did something i didn't like yeah i don't care for fake people all right yeah, you know yeah I'd, yeah I'd rather you just tell me something 
that I may not like or I may disagree with, but I'd rather you tell me the truth, you know, than what what we have a saying here, beat around the bush, right? In yeah. in English, we call it beating around the bush, like blowing smoke up someone's skirt, you know, instead yeah. of telling them the truth. Yeah, I find it that uh, many people uh, can't handle if I tell them the truth. Um, okay, let me read a little of the comments here. Mike is saying my TV hasn't been turned on in over a year. Uh, JC saying, as of now, Jenny only wants to spend her money on anything we need. Well, then you might have a good uh, girl than uh, J3. Uh, I've frozen my credits before for four years. I stopped watching TV in 2018. Yeah. Uh, I look at movies with my brother, but uh, no, uh, no TV shows or anything like that. Uh, John is saying, my wife just buy her family 20 sacks of rice and a $500 couch. Yeah, that's good. But I, I, I assume she has a job, right? Dennis is saying, how can Yank be proud with the shit show and Joey be? What a joke. Yeah, I agree, Dennis. Uh, and the only the only reason why he got chosen is is uh, there is some uh, there is some mixed up shit happening there uh, for sure. They talk about America was uh, hacking in to, to get uh, uh, Trump in, but uh, I think that happened with Joe because no person with the right mind would ever look at him as a good candidate to candidate to be president. Not not in a hundred thousand years. He's sniff, sniffing children's necks and, and uh, rambling and uh, have nothing uh, to say which me means anything. Uh, John is saying, my job is to chase my 20 years younger wife around the house. Yeah. Mark is saying, society has been manipulated by government uh, and media and it's divided and conquer that how that want us all to be. They don't want us united. You're 100% correct. So that causes to many people to have a me, me, me mentality. Yeah, especially especially girls and, uh, and boys. Even if you're 50 years old and you act like a bitch, I will call you a boy. And it's nothing to do with skin color. It's just uh, you're a boy. I'm not saying that men shouldn't uh, enjoy uh, their inner child sometimes, but uh, don't let people push you around. Even if people are bigger than me and, and want to fight me today, I don't care if I even even if they kill me, I don't care. As long as I get one punch on them, I'm happy. But today, people are so uh, um, uh, I will come up with the word. Um, they need to be a gang to fight with one person instead of doing what we did in old days, one, one by one. Just stand in line. Come one and one. Don't be a coward and, and uh, hit a gang because then you just show everyone that you are a coward. You know. uh, 
the trouble is the countries in Asia where I'm thinking about living, uh, they are also starting to be westernized with all the media they see and they love America and they love all the Western uh, money, money, money. But they don't understand the problem with the money. Yeah, of course I understand that people want uh, food and clothes and the necessary things. But you don't need a Gucci bag to live. You just need a bag that can carry the shit you want to carry with you. Yeah, monk, I'm just scared that uh, the world are so uh, brainwashed that uh, the rich one will win this. Because there are too few people who have the backbones to, to be able to dare to do something about it. And though those people are so few that they will spend some time in jail. So we have five people watching. Uh, and, uh, only me and Kiko up in the panel, huh? I have room for 10 people. I can even have two waiting, so 12, 12 in total. I was hoping uh, Rommel and... and uh, Tony would uh, join up too. Tony was talking about having some fun. Well, it's six thirty in the morning now, so Tony maybe Tony's waking up. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, monkey saying he's hearing some ice in the glass, maybe on the rocks. Yeah, I, I was thinking about having me a little sip today, but I uh, stick with my Coca-Cola. Hey, Joey. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hello. Yeah. Sorry about the wind in my back. I'm actually outside. Ah, okay. That's why. <laughs> if I go one place where I normally go, it's going to be even more windier. What are you What's that? Uh, John, John is uh, going to eat something, so I'd ask him what he is eating. Uh, pizza roll, rolled in pizza or something? Yeah, the reason why nobody sees me out anymore very much is I'm noticing my my health went downhill. Oh, sorry to hear that. I'm on a uh, no travel list right now. I can't even travel out of my town. Uh, is this a situation you're going to have a long time or? Uh... Looks like it. I'm not, it looks like I'm not going to be able to make it to the Philippines for a while. Wow.
that's not good news. That's, uh, Yeah, I, I know Dennis. Tony, I, Tony is about uh, Tony. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm not on the panel all the time. Because he, even if I start talking, he will talk over me. And uh, most of the time, because of his uh, broken uh, mic or what it is, uh, I can't understand half of what he's saying, so uh, how can I talk? Uh, I, I'm not a good talker from basics, so, so how can I talk about something I don't understand he's talking about? We've told him for a long time to get a headset, huh? Yeah, uh, he, he said he got a headset, but his son broke that. So buy a new one and put it uh, higher than your son can reach. Hello, you know. But, well, John, uh, looks, yeah. looks like a beautiful day for a picnic there, John. But anyway, I understand uh, how many people are Tony talking with uh, in a week. So uh, I can understand that it's uh, good for him to vent out everything he needs to feel he needs to talk about. I just wish he could uh, let other people talk to yeah i guess it'd be difficult to not have any other not many other english speaking people to talk to you know yeah, uh, and uh, frustration with building a house with uh, people that hardly want to do what you want them to do, even if you pay them. <laughs> yeah, I. that's one reason. If, <clears throat> if I wanted to go there and live, I would rent, definitely. Uh, because, like, my wife, our, our children are going to want to stay here in the U.S., you know, and yeah, I would, uh, work and live. So I wouldn't build one for my children. And uh, my wife has no other family really there. We already built a house for her aunt. You know, the, the house my, my wife actually grew up in was destroyed by a typhoon. It was just four meter by 11 meter wooden structure, you know. If, if a lady stays with me for 30 years and don't leave me, then I can build her a house. But I would just pay off the cops in the, in the community I'm living in. So yeah. they wouldn't uh, report me. So I, I would build my own house. Yeah. That way I can get it how I want it, not how uh, someone's uncle's cousin's, uh, cousin's uncle who thinks he know how to build a house, start to build a house. Right. And get, well, when when we built the structure, the, the one that my wife did live in, and it was destroyed by a typhoon, it was just her auntie living there. And so I, I think for 2,500 US dollars, she got a whole hollow block cement house with a nice steel roof. Of course, it was only four meters by 11 meters. You know, it's a tiny plate, but at least it was a good solid structure. Yeah. And it, it would withstand any further typhoons. and. And then that neighborhood, guess what? When there's a typhoon, guess whose house they go to? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the hollow block one that was built, you know, cement. So. And I don't understand the piping system in, in Asia. Uh, in, in Norway, we have, uh, from the sinking out, we have like uh, seven degrees uh, or 10 degrees or something. Uh, where the water flows down. Right. In Asia, they have 90 degrees. So uh, when you're standing and washing your hands, uh, the sink is getting full before you finish washing your hands. John's stealing the coins out of the wishing well. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they did for taking all the water out, huh, John? 
Yeah, don't get your car keys down in the water. I, I made a wish for you. Oh, good. <laughs> and we all wish we had nice sunny weather like you do. Yeah, I wish and, for more uh, balloons. <laughs> I, I want two or three girlfriends. Oh. I can only guide, find you one, but she's got like 400 pounds, so that makes up for it. No. <laughs> That's like three and one, huh, <laughs> Like a triple-decker cheeseburger there. I got to get. I gotta grab some water for my son because he's going to want water <laughs> when I get back. So, John, your pickup now, that pickup beside you, do you have a Ram? Uh, yeah. Uh, they don't even call Ram. it Do Dodge Ram anymore, huh? It's just Ram. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's because they, they Ram you, they don't dodge you anymore. Mm. Yeah, they just, <laughs> they just Ram you. Show Christian what a big old American pickup truck looks like. Ram, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I had a, I had a, both a Ford van and a, a Econ line. Uh, I was a president in the van club here in Norway some years ago. The old Ford Econo line van? Yeah, from the 80s, 70s, 70s, 80s, 80s, wow. Yeah. Yep. Oh, boy. And, and, John, uh, John, what's the what's the price of gas per gallon out there in California? Right uh, now? I just uh, let me see. It's like five something for a diesel. Really? Oh, but you have a that's, diesel truck. Yeah, but that's only the that's only the um, one place. Everywhere else, it's it's like five eighty or something. It's expensive. So, Still a lot cheaper than Norway, huh, Kristen? <laughs> yeah, here in Norway now it's it's uh, it's varies between uh, two point two to two point six USD per liter. So multiply that times three point seven eight. Three point seven eight liters in a gallon, so well over eight dollars a gallon or more. That's okay, J3. I understand. Yeah. Not, not every internet is is the best. I have to go take my son some water. I know he's going to want water. Oh. I see a headless woman. Yeah, that's uh, how to say that's the best ones, they don't talk. <laughs> yeah, I see also um, women in, in America can't understand how we men can, we don't care about if the girl is brain dead or if she has the best education in the world. If I if I need to build a wall, I'm not asking my woman how should I build this wall. Yeah. I don't care if I uh, can't have a two hours discussion with a woman that don't understand what I'm talking about anyway. <laughs> I, I expelled some air. I know you didn't hear it, though. Nope. You no. must have been muted. Lost my spirit. <laughs> so because what what was it you were eating, John? Everything. It was um, it was uh, Thanksgiving pot pie. It had turkey and potato and uh huh. Yeah, it had a lot of stuff in there. 
because as, as, as a man, I, I would like to teach my woman something. If she knows everything in the world, what can I bring her? Just tell her, that I want to finish raising you, honey. If I, if I can't, I'm going to take you back to your mom. No, no, but, uh, no, but, <laughs> but isn't it, uh, doesn't it feel good if you can teach your girl something she didn't know? Yeah, teach her the realities of life. Not only reality, but uh, maybe she don't know how to to uh, put together a wardrobe. You can show her how to put together a wardrobe. Yep. Uh, My wife kind of uh, got mad at me because I, I taught her how to talk stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I thought you were teaching me good English, but you're teaching me crazy stupid. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, yeah. They, they do, they, they're willing to learn, you know, because yeah. they do want to learn. Not the, not the American women I've seen on the YouTube, they are not willing to learn anything. What? They not American. <laughs> they, they know everything best themselves. We don't need no man. What are you but uh, I seen some uh, Filipinos too in the 30 or 40 years old that uh, starting to get this mentality from uh, looking at uh, foreign TV shows. Yeah, they believe what they well. Sometimes they they believe what they see on TV. <laughs> yeah, they think the, the man on the riding on the white horse is is real. Yeah. Yep, a lot of kids here today. They're all bouncing. There's snow on top of the hills there. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the snow. <laughs> Is this just a strawberry farm or is it uh, other activities too? Um, it has um, it has different kinds of uh, like it has like the small oranges, strawberries, and it has different kinds of stuff. Do you have to pay an admission to go in there, John? Yep, you got to pay. Uh, I think it's about it's about seven dollars a person. Yeah. And then you can ride on that. It's like a hay ride, but it's just a, uh, it's a thing that rides around, drives around the farm, a tractor pull. Uh -huh. But and, that's seven dollars. Does that cover the kids playing on the jumping things and all that? Yeah, it, it covers on that. Yep, it covers yeah, on all the stuff. The only thing it don't cover is um, the paintball. You got to pay ten bucks to shoot a hundred paintballs. Oh. Uh -huh. But yeah, there's a yeah. Ten bucks to shoot hundred bulls. Uh, ten to, or one hundred. Ten dollars yeah. to shoot one hundred uh, um, paintballs. I, I, I will shoot one hundred paintballs in like uh, what ten fifteen seconds. Yeah, you had to get a fully <laughs> automatic paintball gun. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> gone. <laughs> Yeah, Monk, and just uh, I don't know how long I can show it at a time before YouTube is uh, shutting down my channel, you know. Oh, from uh, the kids? No, no, I will show you if you oh. look at the screen uh, right now. You see my picture? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The dishwasher made the sound, so I need to. Yeah, I got, I got a book. I just barely started. It's about uh, kids uh, changing their gender. And then when they get older, yeah. they find out after all the operations and everything that they screwed their life up. You know, yeah. Yep. Yeah, after they find out they head up, they can't, they can't, uh, they can't change back what they, what they did. 
Yeah, all the all the problems they get. Uh, not only they regret doing that, but also the com uh, uh, complications yeah. with it. You know. Yeah, they have um. And they yeah, they talk they talk about when they get older and they find out they. Yeah, they screwed up. <laughs> yeah, they messed up, and they're just kids. So they missed out on their puberty. They missed out on because they had puberty blockers. Yeah. What do you uh, they're, they're too young to have sex when they're five years old, but they can change yeah. their sex. That lady that shoots the paintball, she knows about it. You see right there where everybody's oh, shooting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where that that's where that that's where it's gonna park, right? Well the park right here where the line the line queue is right here where the ropes are. When you go when you go out there, you could you don't have to come right back. You could just stay out there, and then it's always going to be coming around. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, hey John, do you, do, you, yeah? do you miss do you miss the old state that you live in? Yeah, but not the cold. Yeah. <laughs> I do <laughs> because I knew where everything was in that city, and um, <clears throat> out here the city just fell wherever it fell. They didn't. Um, have a city planner, so it's all uh, it's kind of chaos. It's just you want to find a place. store, yeah. You want to find a store, you just it's hard to find. <laughs> the city wasn't uh, planned, it just wherever who was living there, just the stores are everywhere. It really does help to have Google Maps, huh? To find out where a store is, y yeah. You know, you might want to go somewhere and it might be like way out there, like way somewhere else. And, yeah, it's like somewhere where you wouldn't suspect it. <laughs> yeah, stuff's all uh, all over the place. I, I um called nine one one the other day. There was some guy laying on the sidewalk, and his feet were still laying in the road, and he was still had both legs in his, on his bicycle, and he was totally passed out. Huh. I I don't know if he got hit or if he just uh, overdosed or he got heat stroke. Yeah. But I, yeah, I just called 911 and, and the operator says, do you think we should call an ambulance? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I can't tell if he's breathing or not. I said, all right. I said, you might. <laughs> so they called the cop and the, supposedly the cop went over there. But I, I, there was a lady there already too. She, and I didn't see her, but she was parked. And she said she called 911 uh, too. Yeah. Yeah, this guy here is the guy that drives the drives the um, he drives the tractor. He he pulls the people around. Yeah, we've seen him earlier. Yeah, I'm just sitting here acting my age. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit cool for everybody, but it's pretty sunny. Well, here we have five degrees Celsius in the rain, so I, I would rather have your... Uh... Yeah. John, I meant, I meant to ask you, do you have actually have an air conditioning unit in your house, or do you use got, swamp coolers? I got I got two of those, um, those big... Um, Try to think what you call them. They're air conditioning, but they're also a heater. Uh huh. I think I don't know if you call them a furnace, but but they're just like the big thing that sits on the side of the house. Do you and need then, your air conditioning very often, or is uh, it not in the summertime? Humid yeah, in the summer, I used to get really hot here, but but uh, it's like a, this looks like looks like a big pineapple tree, but some kind of tree. <laughs> But yeah, you do you, need it. You, humidity is very low, right? Yeah, it ain't. Yeah, it's not too bad, but the, um, but it does get uh, really hot. Yeah, it gets. Uh, it gets. Yeah, it gets hot. It gets really hot. It gets. 
I don't know, hundred and something. This used to be well we're we're like we're not far from Death Valley. Right. But if you're in the shade it's a lot better, right? Yeah, it's a lot better in the shade. But uh but yeah, I think Death Valley's supposed to be like the hottest place. Oh yeah, one of the hottest places in the US. Continental yeah. US. Yeah, we were we went there last week. For the for the first time. <laughs> Monk is saying 13 degrees here and super windy. We we got a big storm hitting the UK right now. Um, yeah, today is the first time I've seen in Norway that uh, the cloud was going two ways. That's not normal in Norway that you can see this the sky is going two ways. Huh. So John, do you ever get tired of just having perfect weather? Uh no. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, they only have like I don't know summer and uh, rain, but yeah, the, the rain ain't that bad. I think the skies you have right there, we probably get about sixty of those days in Pennsylvania a year. How many? Maybe sixty, six zero. Oh, England probably about the same, right, Chris? <laughs> Yeah, no, I do the same work. Uh, and the type of, I, I think a bird hit you, John. <laughs> Is 80 uh, Fahrenheit to to uh, Celsius. In summer in Norway, we have gotten sometimes uh, a couple of times. Uh, uh, 50 degrees Celsius. Five zero? Five zero, yes. Wow. But then, but normally it's, it's between uh, 18 and, and uh, 35, that's the normal. Right. <clears throat> so, John, what would you say the temperature is there where you're at right now? Um, I don't know, uh, 65? I'm All not right. sure. It's kind of cloudy out, though. It's, uh... Yeah, in the midst of all that blue sky, there are a couple clouds, I gotta admit. <laughs> the other day, it was, um... I forget what it was. It was, like, on the pickup, it was, like, 108 or something. Wow. The, ve the vehicle was reading. I was like, holy cow. But it was only about, like, 80, I don't know, 80. But yeah. the truck sitting in the parking lot said, like, 105. I was like, holy cow. My son's having fun playing, bouncing. <laughs> I 
A lot of kids playing, having fun. Yeah, this is like uh, 30 miles from home. It's just uh, just down the road. <laughs> Yeah, we can get four seasons in one day here in Norway too. Sometimes mm. crazy. Wow. Oh. I think most of these fruits, I think they all come from the farm here. And they're all California prices, right? It's pro um, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. What does this say? Sweet navel oranges. I have a navel. Yep. Any or outy? <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, uh, no, it's an any. I felt it. Check. <laughs> <laughs> and I even sniffed it. My finger. It had mint. <laughs> I'm looking at the food. I already ate twice. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, if they had a nice T-bone steak, I bet you'd grab that. <laughs> uh, my wife cooked a whole bunch of stuff the other day, a bunch of uh, Filipino food. My wife's at a Filipino birthday party right now for one of her girlfriends. I just asked her to bring me something home if there's any good food left. Eighteen dollars, not counting tax for the pie. For an apple pie, huh? Yeah, apple pie. Eighteen. Put your put your hand next to it. I can't tell the size of. It. Oh wow. Okay, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty expensive pie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a. If if it if if it was a double that size, maybe. Hey, Christian, what is it, like 50 kroner to a dollar, to a U.S. dollar? Well, it's probably... Uh, let me think here. $100 is 1,000 Norwegian. These are $4 for a Oh, slice. so it's 10 kroner to a dollar. So. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. Are you people? 80 kroner oh, for okay. that pie. Yeah. Right? They got food over there. I'm not sure. No, 18 times uh, you, you add them zero, so it's 180 Norwegian. My, my son's Brown face is so red from bouncing. Yeah. If, if it was double that size, I, I would maybe think about it All right. for that price. Costco's got big pies. Yeah, Costco sells those for about $15. So you they get got twice the amount of pie for less than $18. Big apple cider vinegar. Oh, really? Mary, are you going to use the restroom? Oh, really? I'm gonna John, go do you shop at Costco out in California, John? Yeah. They got, they got yeah, We have two, one here. It's only four miles away from me. They got two Costco's in uh, Bakersfield. Uh -huh. And then they got one Sam's Club. Wow, two Costco's in the same city. I'm looking for apple cider vinegar. But well, this is a uh, this is the a place outside the um, Bakersfield. No, no. Um, you were on a tour earlier with the bus and picking strawberries and stuff. Yeah, this is that uh, store where yeah, you buy so the wristband. Yeah, that's why I think this store is a little uh, more expensive than other stores because this is close to that. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. Tourist prices. Yeah. And the fruits and vegetables are probably more expensive because they're fresh right there. Yeah. 
and the place wants to make a huge profit. So. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see it nowhere. Yeah, well. I like to see the songs. What are these? Oh. I stepped on a grape and made a little wine. Oh. It made a, it made a little wine. I joke. Ask your mama she's, she's selling. Sell it. <laughs> You're supposed to do that barefoot, John. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How much is a can of Bud Light there? Or uh, three dollars, uh, twenty-five ounce can. Three dollars, uh, not counting tax. How many milliliters is that? Uh, oh. Oh. We got spicy okra. Yeah, I don't like okra. You ever hear of that or try that one, Christian? Okra? Yeah, I don't like it. John, did you ever have fried okra? Um, I don't. I don't think so. It's in Oklahoma, and they they sold it, but I never tried it. I knew I didn't like okra. They put some breading on the outside and deep fry them, kind of like jalapenos. They do that to jalapenos also. They got boiled eggs. Oh, okay. uh, what what's that? Pickles? Or pickled, pickled eggs? eggs. Pickled eggs? Yeah. They have a clear one. How about this rabbit? Oh, they got little baby ones. They're qu I think these are quails. Quail eggs. They're pickled. Eggs, eggs in water. That's the first time for me to see. No, it's it's pickled. It's like in vinegar, Christian. Yeah, I understand. It's just the first time I've seen it. Oh. I, I see. I see. Uh, Cucumber and uh, uh, carrots and stuff like that in in, but in, vinegar, never seen, huh? in vinegar, but never never seen eggs in. There. What about this kitten? Nope. What about this? Where's the manok? Manok. Yep. Adobo. Yeah. Uh, Baloo. Make no. adobo. No, thank you. Uh oh, I can't push him back. Either. Uh oh. Good news. Manuk. How much for a Slim Jim? Okay. Uh, Two bucks. Two fifty. How much are these? Two seventy nine. Uh, Two seventy nine. Wow. Good guess. I have my wife get them when she comes over. That's okay. You can leave them right here. Two fifty. Thank you. Hey, um, I want the Jello. Oh. 
Both of them? Okay, yeah. thank you. I, yeah, get the jalapeno one. I, I had a whole box of those, but I sent them to my daughter in the mail. Oh. I got them at uh, Costco. I was trying yeah, to be they healthy. Had a, they <laughs> have a whole bag of them for what, like $16, $17 at Costco? Yeah, a whole box, yeah. Get a whole box. Wife must be getting food, maybe. Woo. Yeah, that's shit. Oh no, get ice cream. I scream, you scream, she screams. Yeah. I want the vanilla, but maybe just one scoop. Can you um? Which one do you like? Um, that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, one of these two. Yes, uh, not too long. So, Christian, did you send a link to Ronald? Oh, no, I did not. Oh. I can I can do that even uh, I was hoping he already. Yeah, he might not realize that you have a live going on right now. Cactus honey. Oh, that's a unique one. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Me neither. Hundred percent natural. Oh, ice cream. Wow. This is honey too. Mm. That's it's another thing I buy at Costco for cheaper. I want one of these. Uh, yeah, what, you what, want to. Is it uh, Mudabi Freeman or Mudabi Mouse Mans? Yeah, he's, yeah he's, one he's, of those. He he has so many. Yeah. I don't know which <laughs> one to. But do the Freeman one. That might be. I'm gonna get one of these apple cider vinegar. I don't know what this is. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's probably expensive, huh? Uh uh, I don't see the price on it. Yeah, those go for three ninety nine at Costco. Three oh, three a, no, three for nine ninety nine. I'm sorry. That, yeah, fifteen dollars. Whoa. Yeah. That's, that's then, uh, really nice. Okay. And then just one Okay. Tell him you need to get it for free because you're on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wine by the glass. Six dollars a glass. Wine for free. <laughs> wow, I hope the bags are free. That's right, just put it all in the tab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Monkey's saying that's good stuff right there, John. The uh, 97 12. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. 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 Put it in the book. And fly. Yeah, we can do that. We're going to eat here, I guess. I don't know. I ordered two different things. I got a water. How about you? I got water too. Wish number one, wish number two, or recycling your wishes. Oh. I'm recycling the wishes. Wishes? Yeah. I recycled the wish. Daddy can recycle them. Oh, I can recycle this big quarter here. Oh, oh let's you recycle it. Nope. There you go. No. Nope. He said, no, Mac, throw yep, it back in. Go in his pocket. Yeah, it's like the government. <laughs> Pay these taxes. I'm going to reach up for one, too. Yeah. We got to get silverware. Uh, oh well. Okay. Hmm. I wish I got them too. Oh, okay. Oh. It's alright. Go grab it for me. Drop my water. Thank you. Oh, watch the birdies. Better to burp and taste it than fart it and waste it. There you go. Yeah. Feeding the birds. I'm at that age. People don't look at me funny when I feed the birds. <laughs> right. Hmm. The 
Bird is the word. Somebody's driving a BMW. All right, I got my drink. We got Bob. Forgot to get silverware. Oh. And the Thank you, dude. Target, baby. Mm. With your ice cream in here. Hold on. Uh, the barbecue. That's going to sweet. Okay, that one. Just uh, and taste it. Man, John, you're making us all hungry. Sorry. <laughs> Matt, let me see your smile. <laughs> oh my. A bunch of ice cream. I know why. Ice cream. I checked on, on your own phone and I saw that. Look at the bird. Hey, Bob. Who? Oh. Hey, Hank. How are you doing, Hank? You went black. No, you're welcome, uh, John, anytime. You're helping me from not uh, doing my rants. <laughs> oh, bye, Chris. I didn't see you left. Time to pig out, John. So Christian was... Uh, was Ronald showing up online, or that's one of twenty different alien aliases he has? So. Uh, let me see. Maybe uh, he wasn't online on that one. No, it's not online uh, there. Let me see if I can find the other. I don't know if he's online there too, but I'll send him the link there too. Can you hear me? I hear you. Okay. I will send it to Tony too and see if he makes it over. If I have any other people on my list. I sent it to Bud too, but uh, he might be uh, out fishing. Hunting and fishing and <laughs> shit. <clears throat>
Yeah, I was planning to plan this uh, live stream better than I did, but uh, I didn't have time. And I have blocked some of my haters, so on. <laughs> now, when I, I was looking earlier today before you sent me the link, I went to YouTube and I searched Viking of Norway and you didn't come up anywhere. Why is that? Yeah, you need to type a channel after. Okay. Or or put an uh, uh, alpha like, crawl before it at at uh, Viking of Norway. Oh, put it before that. Okay. Yeah, because... Because uh, I know uh, some people, like when they have a very common name, like remember jb jb vlogs yeah you type that and there's a lot of people who have jb vlogs and then sometimes they have like a four digit number after them you know to yeah. distinguish who they are yeah um uh, what they call that other the, you have alpha male and you have uh, beta male and you have something else Is there more than just alpha and beta? I didn't know there's a third option. Yeah, a third option for those who are not rich, but still. Uh, they don't believe uh, so much in the money. What do they call it? Cisgender? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, or simp. What are those guys that can't get sex so they take out their aggressions on women what is it i forget the name for it a beta male is a supportive and subordinate male who answering to the alpha male in society uh, in society the beta male assumes a passive role he is kind lovable and sometimes too content in his comfort zone uh, I, i'm not an, i'm not an alpha male because i'm not rich uh, because the rich are called the alpha males uh, i don't know i don't see it that way i would think an alpha male is just someone who's secure in themselves you know and strong and doesn't care about other people's opinions kind of like you are you know i don't think yeah. wealth has anything to do with it or status power you know no but that's that's what the rich people are saying uh, no. Alpha male is uh, he has he's rich and can do whatever he well, wants. Well, you, you and I know there's a lot of rich guys who are just a bunch of pussies too. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I will even say that uh, um, yeah, I like some of what uh, Fresh and Fit are saying, but uh, but uh, the. The guy that has been jailed a couple of times now. Um, he also has some strong beliefs, and and I agree in some of what he's saying. But for me, he's just a spoiled brat. He he got a boxing career, and uh, 
got rid of that and now bragging about his 10 Lamborghinis and uh, yeah. you can't take those cars with you in the grave so uh, right right <laughs> and then the Lamborghinis aren't going to save your ass when the shit hits the fan right yeah uh, no the government will take them whenever they want mm -hmm. nothing you can do about it Well, the way they're going, it looks like they plan on outlawing internal combustion engine vehicles. Yeah, in their dreams. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, huh? <laughs> yeah, some people are just. How they're gonna pl how they're gonna fly all over the place in their private jets? Huh? They do that. Yeah, I know. Uh, there were some smart people in the 50s that uh, have made some good money on the history of uh, the climate change. Yep, that's a big money making racket. And to 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 now, uh, I I saw uh, Smokey and the Bandit from from I was very young, but now I really understand what uh, View for T Justice uh, meant. Jackie when he Gleason, said, yeah, <laughs> said when he meant when he said. Uh, what in the hell is the world coming to? Yeah. <laughs> what do you say something about, boy, when I get home, I'm going to slap your mama. <laughs> <laughs> no way you're from my loins. That's right. <laughs> oh, that guy was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, about the alpha males, I also heard that uh, you can't call yourself that. There must be some other people calling you that. That way it's through. But yeah. think probably another 20 years there's not going to be anybody with your or my opinions left on the planet yeah no we are the last living uh, if we haven't wiped ourselves out by then yeah um but i'm very happy i'm not uh, not a teenager today yeah i don't you know, my kids, I just wonder what kind of world they're going to have to live in. Yeah. And I mean, I tried to teach them, but of course, our attitude is just uh, out of touch with what they know and what they've been taught, you know, in, in public. So. When I hear kids or even even people under 40, when they say, when you when you say something and they say, oh, that's not appropriate. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean appropriate? They actually, they don't believe in free speech anymore. No. You know? They actually believe there's things, oh, well, you can't say that. Well, yeah, I can, you know? Yeah, and the freedom people are talking about is just an illusion, but they don't understand that. All right. 
because if you were really free you would not need any social security number or uh, stuff like that like a wise person once said i'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees yeah Uh, birth uh, certificate, no tax. Yeah, it's only one person I will bow to, and that is God. Uh, no one else, and that's also one thing I will struggle struggle with in Asia. This. Uh, kissing on the hand and shit like that um, i'm not doing that who do they kiss their hands i know like in the philippines they the the eldest person they always grab their hand and put up to their forehead yeah 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 put up to what do you forehead, mean yeah. what do they do about kissing hands in thailand no 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 what i was uh, i was to i was talking wrong it, uh, they put the hand to the forehead yeah, yeah. not yeah. kissing uh, yeah i i'm not doing that uh, i think no you, other... can, you can respect your elders without doing that but yeah no other person on this planet is higher than me, than God. In, uh, in, uh, in Thailand, they have like this. But for me, that's just a normal good greeting. If you have a handshake or you do this, um, the same for me in that regards. But uh, doing that is like uh, I look up on him as bigger than me. Yeah, I was thinking since it was so long time ago that I did a live stream like this, it would be many curious people dropping by, but uh, Yeah. Kristen, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I my headphones messed up. I missed that last part of the conversation when you when you took the camera off and you put the hands in front of your face. Yeah, your headset uh, cracked again. Are you let me try this again can you hear me yeah oh, I hear you. okay i'm sorry my 
my ear pods that I wear, when the battery runs out on them, I seem to have trouble hearing and I lose audio from my iPad and I plug headphones in, you know, corded headphones yeah. and they only last very, I don't know why it does that. So, but now I can hear you. Yeah. So what last, were you saying when you the, were? The last thing I, I said was uh, the only thing. Uh, for for me, that is like uh, I'm saying that he is bigger than me. He's more important than me. Uh, the only person, uh, other person, more important than me for me is, is God. I will bow for him. Uh, right. There's no human that that deserves that. Yeah. yeah. I can greet them like they do in Thailand or. or Handshake, that's uh, my kind of respect. Because I don't I do not do handshake with everyone I see. I can say hello to people without shaking their hands. But if I feel they deserve my respect, I will handshake them. Right. Are you still up on the panel, Tarzan, or or you just didn't know how, uh, didn't get to to go down? He j he just doesn't want to be eating on camera. I don't think. Oh, ah, okay. okay. He says he's listening on the truck speakers. Oh, maybe he's driving on his way home. Though. Yeah, I'm curious too how many of these pictures I can have up without YouTube uh, giving me a strike. <laughs> I don't know. They let other crazy stuff up, so. Yeah, uh, I've seen some naked uh, girls on here too. It's just. Uh, it's marked as education. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm trying to find a niche uh, that uh, not so many others do on YouTube. To, to try to have uh, sarcasm uh, uh, and discussions uh, that are uh, exaggerated. Like uh, I was in uh, Ricey, Ricey's uh, live stream the other day and uh, I talked about the masculine things I'm talking about that uh, I don't understand why a woman need to go to the bar alone uh, in a mini skirt uh, looking sexy for other men and have her boyfriend at home. And that got some reactions. <laughs> Oh, you did get some reactions from. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Then you're. are gonna say yeah. They have the right to do it. Sure. I mean, yeah, just because and, you have uh, the right to do something doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Yeah, you know? and I mean that men are insecure and blah blah blah. But uh, for a man to be a protector, that he should be, knowing what can happen in a bar where there are men who thinks that lady is sexy and they want to hump her but they know she don't want to hump him so they put some uh, pills in the drink and uh, 
and do something they shouldn't do and the day after the woman wakes up and uh, crying and uh, blah, 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 and all the, the drama there. Uh, yeah, in, in the fantasy land you can think that the world is safe everywhere and you can do whatever you want, you can go around naked and blah blah blah, but in reality you can't. Not if you don't want to be uh, graped. Yep, some people just don't know how the real world works. Yeah, of course it's sad that uh, men can't handle themselves. Uh, but uh, you don't need to tempt them 99%, you know. Uh, and if you have a boyfriend, why do you desperately need to go to the bar alone? Uh, wouldn't it right. be wouldn't it be nicer to have uh, your boyfriend with you and have fun together you know or spend the night at home together yeah, yeah. well I, I'm a person that uh, don't mind going out to the bar sometimes have a few beers and go home again uh, but not every weekend you know right here in Norway, I maybe go out like three or four times a year. But I don't go to bar to check up ladies because in my mind, when I go to, to out to drink, I always think that every girl has a boyfriend. That way I don't need to bother with them. I can look, but don't touch and talk. Yeah, those days are long gone for me, and I'm glad they are. <laughs> well, uh, uh, even when I was younger, I was married. I mean, I'd go out with, you know, my military buddies. We were out somewhere yeah. and we'd go drink in a bar and I'd watch and I'd laugh at some of the things they did, but I would never do what they did. You know? Yeah. I, I can't say I had a normal childhood. So, um, Maybe that's why I like to go to bars now, because that's something I didn't experience much when I was younger. And, uh, and normally here I spent most of my days alone. Uh, I don't like all the fake people in, in, uh, in life and uh, uh, pe people I think is my friends are uh, either talking shit about me behind my back or saying stuff to me that uh, like I, I had a friend uh, like uh, he's still my friend in that case but I don't talk with him much uh, I met him when he was younger and I was younger. This is maybe 23, 25 years ago. Uh, and I had some issues with my teeth. Um, uh, I don't know what they call that sickness, but it's uh, made my teeth go uh, bad. So there, and I didn't have much money to fix my teeth. So, uh, it wasn't many times you saw me smile. And this friend went to Spain on a holiday. And he sent me a postcard from Spain. Where it said, uh, look, look for the man without teeth. To the postman to find me. And he knew already that I have low uh, self-esteem because of that. 
uh, and because of my childhood, he, he, I told him everything about my life, so he knew everything. But he still needed to do that. Uh, then I think, uh, how good of a friend are you? Oh, he thought it was funny. Yeah. It was not funny. And the more people you get to know, the more drama you put into your life. Some are jealous on this and some are jealous of that. When I was, uh, how are you? Uh, 20, 20 years old, 2021, 20, uh, after uh, our house, my childhood house burned down, I got some insurance money back. So uh, I bought myself some uh, fancy shoes and some clothes and stuff. And uh, one of my friends stole my brand new shoes. The day before he uh, and his family moved to Denmark because he was jealous that I had bought my first shoes I ever bought to myself because now I had money to buy my shoes myself. And people like that, I, I don't I don't need to know people like that. I don't need to be around them. I don't need to look at their faces. And if, let's say, uh, I've been slim all my life, but if, if I got to be 300 pounds, uh, and you see me and you say, oh, Christian, you're starting to be fat. I would be very happy that you, you got the balls to tell me that so I can do something about it. Uh -huh. uh, in, instead of, no, you're so nice, oh, you look so good. You know, that fakeness, I hate that fakeness. Yeah, I don't like a liar or a thief. Yeah. Two things I don't like. So that's there's why a, I, There's a lot, of, a lot of fake people in the world. Yeah. So that's why I, I rather stay with myself than... Uh, And you get yourself a girlfriend, you know, uh, either LDR or in real life. And they say they love you. And uh, a couple of weeks later, they uh, say bye-bye. Uh, For me, love is a strong word uh, that are used way too often uh, with no meaning. Yeah, the only thing that proves it is the test of time, right? Yeah. But for me to say I love someone, that's, uh, that's not something I tell everyone. Uh, and I use a long time to say that to someone. And I have a meaning behind the word. It's not an empty word. Yeah, I could get some uh, fat chicks around here. Uh, I don't want to. One thing I never did was get involved with uh, someone of extreme weight. Did you say someone? Someone fat, as you would say. Oh, yeah. No, I, I've been with one fat girl 20 years ago, um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I have a problem with looking at uh, fat women. I'm not, not talking about little chubby, maybe one or two kilos too much. I'm talking uh, way, way too much. Yeah.
But I know a lot of guys that would go that way because they said, well, they don't get it much attention. And when they do, they really appreciate it. So. Yeah, those so guys, I don't know. most, most, not everyone, but mostly those guys are just thinking that they are getting some, some boom, boom. You know? Right. Yeah, that's all they cared about. But uh, I can look up some uh, uh, movies on the internet and use both my hands and get the same. So, And I can say for myself, I mean, I've put on weight, so of course I'm not, I, it wouldn't offend me if you, if a woman would say, well, you don't look attractive. I, like, I know I don't, <laughs> you know, my <laughs> those days are gone for me. I don't really care about it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I go to the gym just, just to keep my joints working and keep my blood flowing, you know, and, yeah. and exercise. And, no, but. Uh, but but, but I, I don't go there to bodybuild, you know, and I see a lot of people there and, uh, you know, I, I give them my credit for trying, you know, but I don't know. At least from what I see, you don't, uh, the ladies that you see at the gym are not ladies that look like they go there all the time and <laughs> no <laughs> you know <laughs> they go inside in any they're not going to be in any magazines put it that way you know so. uh, and and some of the girls just uh, put on some uh, tight uh, clothing and go inside the gym take a picture and go out again so. right <laughs> yeah they, they walk around drinking out of their water bottle and just socializing yeah. the whole time <laughs> never break a sweat you know yeah like one of my friends said once uh, when I was younger, he didn't go to school to learn. He he go to school so he can meet his friends. Yeah. So one person who really wants to go to school and learn and get an education can't go because this person just wants to meet his friends. But anyway, I think education is bullshit. I think if, if I want to be a bricklayer, I can go to a company and they show me for a couple of days and I will understand. All right. On the job training, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Because even if you have a fine college degree, you're going to start in the job. And that's the only thing that's going to get you the job is your degree. And that you got to start over and learn everything. Yeah. Unless you're in something like medicine. Or, uh, uh, yeah. And, and, like many, and many girls too. What if you have a, a degree in uh, social economics or uh, psychology, what will that help you other than those two fields later in life? Yeah, I actually, I hated psychology and philosophy because yeah. I said, I didn't, I didn't want to read other people's opinions. I want to form my own, Yeah, you know, yeah. I want to live and learn. I mean, of course we can learn from other people's mistakes, but I want to go out and start making my own mistakes and learning, you know? Yeah. And that's also one thing I hated with the school uh, in later years when I started to understand all the bullshit from school. We learned that uh, Columbus and all this, uh, John Heyendahl from Norway and all the Napoleon is, oh, they are so great people. How are they great people? They murder and slaughter people for their own gains. Uh, and uh, sorry to say, but uh, what happened with America and the Indians, uh, 
I, I don't, uh, and even the Vikings too, I don't look upon that as uh, something holy and uh, great. Yeah, not some epic accomplishment. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a part of history, yes. But should we glorify them? No. I mean, I'm just amazed how human beings survived in the conditions when they didn't have the things that we, you know, common yeah. conveniences like heating and cooling and and water and, you know, all the the necessities of life that we think are, we have now, you know. Yeah. Like, think of the people that had to live in a teepee in the middle of a harsh winter, you know. Yeah, I I couldn't survive in those conditions. No, I mean you don't even want to go out of the TP <laughs> to go get food, even if you're starving, right? Yeah. That's like, oh, we got to go kill an elk. No, you go do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they had to kill something to make clothes to keep warm, right? Yeah. So we we are pretty fortunate to live in this time of human history. I mean, not for all the sociological facts, but for the conveniences we have. Yeah, we are. Uh, and just are, like now, being able to talk to each other from continents away, you know, yeah, <laughs> where 20, 30 years ago, we would have never thought of doing that. Yeah, we are so spoiled that we don't see uh, the real. It's like my, uh, I, when I go to visit my mother in the old folks home and I take my iPad and I have three of my children from different parts of the country, you know, all on the screen talking to each other and to her at the same time. Now, at her at 99 years old, who would have ever thought you could do that in your lifetime, you know? Yeah. It's back when she didn't even, they didn't even have a telephone when they were young kids, you know? So. Yeah, my uncle was one of the first having this uh, carry mobile phone, weighed a ton, uh, cost yeah, like the, uh, the brick. The it was the size of a brick. Right? Yeah, cost uh, three thousand five hundred US dollars. Remember the old Mercedes and BMWs? They had a center console. Yeah, yeah. Big old phone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, even for us, it, you know, 25 years ago, we would have never thought that we could do stuff with a phone that we do now, you know? No. Like they say, it's eliminated so many things like flashlights, you know, uh, uh, dictionaries, <laughs> encyclopedias, uh, cameras, definitely. Uh, It's really amazing that the technology. Yeah, but, someone. But what's what's scary is the new AI technology. That's what's going to be the downfall of humanity, I think. So. Yeah, I think so too. That's going to be crazy. You yeah. start creating beings that can destroy you. That's pretty stupid. <laughs> and even if Elon uh, say that he is also scared how the development is going, he is one of the top guys who has made that happen. So uh, right. The old saying: "Be careful what you wish for; you just might get it." Right. Yeah. I've been using a little AI to my radio. Uh, so people can listen to more than just my voice, but yeah, I heard you had that guy's 
voice and someone asked you on the live stream who whose voice was that and you just said just ai you know yeah i'd like to hear a good female voice no there are uh there are two now but they're coming to more it's just uh when i uh, the other computer uh when that breaks down i try to get all the music and the pre-recorded the things i've done over to a hard drive but uh that hard drive is not the best in shape and i don't have that uh, kind of plugs to this new computer so i need to find a solution there i remember when i first got some kind of garmin for a in vehicle navigation system you know <laughs> you, you could choose the voice and i chose a female and what what accent and I chose yeah. a female Australian accent, you know, <laughs> because I thought that sounded good. And most most females speaking in a foreign accent are yeah. pretty sexy, but I don't know about you. You know, you have foreign women trying to speak Norwegian. <clears throat> are there any certain ones that you like better, their accent trying to speak Norwegian? Or... Yeah, and, and uh, it's funny. Uh, we men here at least here in norway like if we have a female voice and she repeats in in 50 meters she repeats three times take the second uh, exit in the roundabout <laughs> and uh, the third time she say that we say yeah shut up woman <laughs> <laughs> We got it the first time. <laughs> but yeah, no way, do they, you know, in the house, how they have that Alexa. Do they have that in Norway, where you you have it yeah. in your house? And so, you say so, Alexa, play this music, or what's the temperature now, or you know, what time is it in this part of the world? Yeah, so some have it. I I have. Uh, nest mini but i don't use it i got it because i paid for youtube for uh, so so and so long so as a gratitude they sent me that nest mini that is alexa i think no that's a google but do they have it in norwegian language uh yeah 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 But when I tested it, I put it to English. Oh. It says there, YouTube Music, Spotify, Google Calendar, Google Duo, IKEA, Home, Smart, Netflix, Via Play. Yeah, I don't have any of that stuff. I, I, didn't, I don't want Alexa in my house. That, that means if she can hear you ask her something, that means she can hear everything that goes on. Right. And everything that you're saying in your house is going out over the the internet, correct? Yeah, that's why I don't use it. I'm going to give it to someone. Yeah, hey hey Google, you need to say that to this one there. Did yeah. you say Remember I asked you about when you put up all those videos, a bad day at work. Did you say they took that down? Yeah, and they gave me a, a strike so I could never monetize the channel again. But can you still see that out on YouTube or do they take all that down? No, they take that down first. So if you because just type in was... YouTube, a bad day at work, you can never watch those videos again, huh? No, you can find them uh, for other people who who have put, who haven't been taken down yet. <laughs> yeah, right. but they, but they haven't they haven't done my edit on it, but they have oh, their own edits on it. Uh -huh. Wow! Because it was one uh, who I took a couple of videos from that reported me. Yeah, there's some pretty funny things <laughs> in there. But uh, that wasn't his videos. He got them from other people. So I don't understand why he needed to 
report me. Right. And I didn't take all his videos, I just took a couple, and he had many hundreds. <laughs> well, they still have videos of like bad, like car wrecks, you know, dash cam a yeah. video. And there's a lot of nasty accidents that I'm sure people were killed in, and those still go around the internet, you know? Yeah, but. Uh... As long as no one report them, that's okay. If that person hadn't reported me, those videos would still be up and I would have many million views. I got uh, one video, I got 50,000 views. And that was in just uh, a little under a month. Do you watch that guy ever, the guy, the Norwegian Harold Balder? Yeah, I haven't watched him for a long time, but I... Yeah, I, I haven't either, but I, I guess he's still on there and he's got... He must make a good bit of money because he's got what millions of subscribers and yeah but uh he got the views because of uh, that other uh, bold and bankrupt oh okay uh, right. because the bold and bankrupt was the first doing this and then the boulder he visited him and got exposed right so then he got some of his subscribers and yeah but i i, I prefer uh, uh, bold and bankrupt yeah oh i i loved it when he went to all the different places in the former soviet union you know and yeah yeah those were those were a lot of good experience you know i i got to see a lot of stuff i never would have seen and, <laughs> and, and there's another brit called backpacker ben i don't know if you ever watched him i never even heard of him yeah backpacker ben he's a brit and he's he travels around he traveled with ball a few times you know okay and there's the other guy, Johnny FD, he was with Ball. One or two of his videos. He's, I think he's in Thailand now, or he just left Thailand. Mm -hmm. Went yeah. to Taiwan, but uh, yeah, J O H N N Y, Johnny, and then F as in fox, D as in dog, Johnny FD. He mm -hmm. looks. I think he's Chinese Taiwanese descent. <laughs> He, he he looks Mongolian. He's a big, thick, you know, looks like a Mongol. <laughs> looks like Attila the Hun, you know. Yeah. But he he just spent some time in Thailand, Pattaya or whatever. Is that how you pronounce it, Pattaya or Pattaya? Uh, I say Pattaya. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I, I know, honestly, I, it looks like Thailand, you know, has much better infrastructure and everything compared to the Philippines. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, it, it's just the problem of English isn't as common there, you know, as as other places. But yeah, but I, I think if you go to the villages in the Philippines, they are not fluent in English either. Right, right. But in the city city area. You wouldn't have much problem. I, I have no, I not encounter any problems yet uh, with any Thai lady speaking English with me. Did you ever go to that Thai Hoi? How do you pronounce it? Hua Win or Hoi Win? Hu Hua Hin. Uh, no, I not, yeah, I've not been there, but I've been to uh, Royet, uh, Chiang Thailand, Mai, Gyeongtien, Chiang Mai, uh, Isan, uh, Roy Royet. Uh, that's almost up in uh, in Laos. Oh, did you ever look at that channel I told you about, Ricky and Isan? No. R I C K Y. He's a, 
is an Australian young guy. He's like 29 years old. He married to a Thai woman. They had twin girls, and his wife died when the babies were like a month old. So he's trying to raise his two babies. I guess he has a, a girlfriend now, so that's helping out. But, yeah, he's he's an Australian guy and 29. I don't know how he's making a living. I guess it's just off YouTube, but uh, – he probably went there with money because they built a house, and, but he yeah. gave the house to his in-laws, and but he, now he's he, he's renting a, an apartment. He needs to be careful if he gets money from YouTube in Thailand because that's you need to work permit for that. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how he's doing it, but yeah, he's he's a young guy who's been making videos, and he he's trying to stay in Thailand. That's his plans. He doesn't want to go back to Australia, but. You know, I'm sure finances are going to dictate whether he can stay or not. And not only that, but if you are under the age of 50, uh, when you have too many entries, they can say, no, you need to wait a year or two because you're not a normal tourist because you have uh, 15 or 20 or 30 entries to Thailand the last five years. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's going out and back. I think once his wife and him moved there, he's been there since then. But uh, yeah, then with, with his wife pass away and the house, I don't know what they're going to do about but, that. Because his but, in-laws lived right behind his house, you know. Yeah, so. But that's that's telling me he's overstaying. Yeah, so I don't, if I don't if, know what kind of visa he might have got once he was married to her, he might have changed or something i don't know yeah you can get a marriage visa when you're married but as soon as that person die you go straight back to to uh tourist being visa. like a tourist yeah yeah the day after you 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 need uh, when she die the day after she died he need to go to immigration and get the tourist visa yeah he, he did some kind of immigration so, yeah if you ever get a chance watch his channel and see what he's up to in thailand but he's kind of rural he's up in the isan area so uh yeah i forget so what town he might not see police every day because if, if they stop him and he's overstaying he he uh, for a certain amount of time he can never go back to thailand yeah that's why I'm happy now because now I'm 51, so now I can get uh, uh, what they call that uh, OA visa. I get visa for one year at a time, and uh, every three months, of course, I need to go to immigration and pay uh, 1,900 baht. Mm -hmm. That's about. 60 us dollars right let me see um, the bots what about 32 something like that 34 to a us dollar uh, $52 yeah so you got to pay that every three months yeah up for a year and then after that year you gotta what leave the country and come back no um uh, i can apply for one year and one year and one year and one year as long as i'm over 50. okay but every three months you got to go in and pay that fee yeah yeah because i thought in the last year they changed their immigration their visas a lot is that the latest version uh that's so only i know uh no you have you have the different tourist visas and all about this but this is for people over 50 because then you are retired oh i see so even if i was retired when i was 37 uh, thailand don't uh, uh, don't agree to that they say you must be 50 to retire Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
There's John. Where are you at now, John? Did I tell you my brother he's uh Are we going to the grocery store or the liquor store? Oops. So he's not here with the other ones. I will kick that. Maybe that helps him. Yeah, so you have many different visas to Thailand. Um, and you can have uh, multiple entries on one visa. How did you like Chiang Mai? Uh, it was many historical places and, and uh, uh, temples and stuff. I, I liked it. I, I don't know if I would live there because I, I'm uh, more of a city boy because I lived in... in the, Plus, you're closer to the beach if you like the, the beach area. Yeah. And it's a long drive, you know, from uh, from Pattaya to, to Chiang Mai. Do they have any high-speed trains? Uh, yeah, they had some in, in Bangkok, but not in uh, other places I saw. But I, I didn't travel by bus or train. I took taxis whenever I wanted to go somewhere. Hey, John, that, is that an Asian supermarket? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's one of them in Bakersfield. Wife get any good fish there? Uh, yeah, my wife, she's in there looking for stuff. Yeah. That's my wife can buy, you know, bangus and milkfish, but it's all frozen, of course. Bamboo. Eric. <laughs> there, don't. They always put, they put salt, they put a, uh, they put a uh, salt by the uh, door entrance. Is that a superstition? Yeah, it has to be, yep. Yeah. Keeps out the old salty dogs. Oh. <laughs> 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 Are you live with somebody? Uh, yes. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm going to go on the other side. You go on the other side, I'm going to go on the other side. Got my 4K camera going. Yeah, that's 
So what's your the favorite Filipino food your wife makes for you? Uh, she's making, she's going to get shrimp, and then she's going to wrap them up in those, uh, I think it's called shrimp tempura or something like that. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's going to make that. She makes it really good. Yeah, it's like, like a panko breading. Oh. Yeah, they, she gets that, um, she gets yeah. the name of that. I got. I still got to set up my camera better. It's got a Lexus on it too. This camera. Yeah. So do you like the whole shrimp, John? Head on. Yeah. I'll ask Alexa if she wants to marry from a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just sitting out, sitting outside waiting. Yeah, they, they even have a, a Filipino church in town here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They're a big Filipino community, huh? Yep. Yep, they have a... They got a, they got a restaurant, too. It's pretty new. It's called the Max. It's a kind of a... It's a Filipino restaurant. It's expensive, though. Yeah. It's kind of a famous restaurant. Woof, woof, woof. My truck says it can go, uh, it's almost a full tank. It says it can go 595 miles. Yeah. On the on the diesel, better than having an EV, huh? <laughs> that you can only go 100 miles on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if I you're think... lucky, going downhill with the wind behind your back. How many, how many gallon tank do you have in that truck, John? Is it like 45 uh, or something? No, I don't. No, I'm not sure. It's maybe it's not, about 37. It's, maybe, maybe 30 or something. But it it says 595. And it's wow. pretty much full. That's the only good thing about diesels. That's otherwise, you got to yeah. Otherwise, you got to add an additional additive to it too. Right. You got to you got to add that um. What's that DEF stuff? Is that what it's called? Yeah, that DEF. You got to add the yeah. F. There's a separate yeah. what blue? Yeah, I see. Yeah, you got to add that. You got to buy that and add it. And then In Norway, we call it add, add, add blue. What's that? In Norway, we call that the DEF. Add blue. I didn't know that. Well, I like the mileage on a truck, though. <laughs> I forgot to ask you how how often do you have to add the DEF? The def? Uh, about every. Do we have bags? Bags? Do we have bags? Uh, maybe this one. Know. That one. Um, every two weeks or something. No, not every two. Um, maybe once a month for me. Still there? Hello? Can you hear him, Christian? No. No, he went. Yeah, yeah I used to have a. Uh, 20 years ago, when my wife first got here, I had an old Mercedes Benz, you know, the largest body style. Yeah. Uh, it was an 84. We called it a 300 SD. It was a five cylinder turbo diesel. Yeah. And it had a 20 gallon tank and it got 30 miles per gallon. So I could get 600 miles out of a full tank. And that was, that was the best car I ever owned. I yeah, I had rid the. Of it. 300 TD, uh, 250, uh, 190E. Uh huh. But I love that 126 body style and the, and the, uh, 
five cylinder turbo diesel. That thing was bulletproof. It, yeah. I think when I got rid of I actually gave it away to one of my wife's friends because they had wrecked both of their vehicles and I was going to trade it in, but I wasn't going to get anything anyways for it. So I gave it to her. It had 333,000 miles, which is probably a half a million kilometers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you in church on a Saturday, Hart? Oh, oh no, there's Sunday there now. Right, it's eight thirty Sunday morning in the Philippines. Yeah, I showed the priest my picture, uh, uh, heart, and he will have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Christian, I'm going to go now. Okay. Yeah, thank you for uh, keeping me company. Yeah, I'm glad. I, I wish some of our other buddies had showed up, but maybe they didn't know about it or something. Is this something you just just planned today? Or I know you told me the other night. Was it on David's live stream? You said. Yeah, on David's. Yeah. 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 But uh, I know Ronald wasn't on that one. Tony, of course, wasn't there. So. Yeah, All right. I will, I will so try, try to do this on Saturdays, huh? Yeah, I don't know if I can get it every Saturday, but I will see how many showing up. Okay. I'll, I will test it out for some Saturdays, and uh, if uh, if I get some viewers, yeah. Okay. Well, good night, Chris, if you're there. John, good seeing you again, John. Hart, whoever was here. I'll see you next time, maybe Thursday on David's, huh? Okay, Christian, good night. Good night, uh, Kiko. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So for those who may not uh, been here from the start, I will show you again my intro and what's this going to be about. Welcome to Viking of Norway channel, where we're all about setting sail on hilarious and thought-provoking discussions. Join me and my witty crew as we navigate through life's twists and turns, covering everything from philosophy to pop culture. Get ready for a roller coaster of laughs and insights that'll keep you hooked from start to finish. Come aboard and let's explore the uncharted waters of conversation together. And of course, have some fun. Maybe some naughty fun too. But anyway, I've been on for three hours soon, so uh, oh, yeah, welcome, Dennis. I hope you uh, also uh, pop up sometimes. I will let everyone speak, not only myself. <laughs> and I might be a little toxic, a little overreacting, over talking, overthinking. Just to make it a little bit more fun. Maybe I get some hearts to boil. Have a good night, Dennis, if you are leaving us. Yeah, I hope maybe I see Ronald and Tony here uh, at the next roundabout.
Yeah, and if you ever get too desperate to have a girlfriend, just uh, melt this picture into your brain. Or maybe that one. I think you can stay a day or two <laughs> more without. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think uh, I maybe end it since there was not too many people on the panel. But thank you, uh, John and uh, Kiko, for uh, keeping me company for some time. Highly appreciated. Until next Saturday, keep safe and be who you are. Welcome to Viking of Norway channel, where we're all about setting sail on hilarious and thought-provoking discussions. Join me and my witty crew as we navigate through life's twists and turns, covering everything from philosophy to pop culture. Get ready for a roller coaster of laughs and insights that'll keep you hooked from start to finish. Come aboard and let's explore the uncharted waters of conversation together.